Have you ever pondered the profound connection between your gut and your brain? It's not just about butterflies in your stomach. You might just be surprised to learn the intricate ways in which your gut and brain communicate, forming a complex network known as the gut-brain axis. But why is this axis so important? Well, it plays a crucial role in maintaining our overall health. You see, the gut-brain axis isn't just about digestion. It's about how we feel, how we think, and how we cope with life's ups and downs. In this video, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of gut-brain communication. We'll explore how neurotransmitters, the vagus nerve, and short-chain fatty acids mediate this dialogue. The gut-brain axis is not a one-way street. It's a bustling two-way highway of communication. Imagine this. Your brain and gut, though physically separated, are in constant conversation, exchanging messages about your body's state of affairs. This complex system of communication is known as the gut-brain axis, a network that links your central nervous system, including your brain, with your enteric nervous system that governs your gut. The fascinating part of this connection is its bi-directionality. This means that while your brain sends signals to your gut about feelings of hunger or stress, your gut also communicates with your brain, sending back valuable information. Ever experienced butterflies in your stomach when you're nervous? That's your gut-brain axis at work. Now, you might be wondering, how does my gut manage to talk back? Well, that's where the gut microbiota steps in. Our gut is home to trillions of bacteria, a complex ecosystem that has a bigger impact on our health than you might think. This bustling metropolis of microbes, known as the gut microbiota, is as diverse as a tropical rainforest. From firmicutes to bacteroidetes and hundreds of other species, each plays a unique role. This microbial diversity is crucial for our well-being, helping us digest food, synthesize vitamins, and even ward off harmful pathogens. But the influence of these microscopic inhabitants doesn't stop at our gut. They've got a hotline straight to our brain. This communication is so integral that some researchers have started to call our gut microbiota a second brain. How does this work? Imagine our gut microbiota as a bustling city of microscopic workers. When they're well-fed and happy, they produce a variety of substances that can affect our mental health and cognitive function. For example, some gut bacteria produce neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, chemicals that regulate our mood and emotions. Imbalances in our gut microbiota, when the harmful bacteria outnumber the beneficial ones, can lead to a disruption in these chemical signals, potentially contributing to mental health disorders like anxiety and depression. Fascinating, right? This isn't just speculation. Numerous studies back this up. For instance, a groundbreaking study published in the journal Nature in 2022 found a specific strain of gut bacteria that can produce a substance which stimulates the production of serotonin, our happy hormone. But it's not just about the bad guys. A healthy gut microbiota can also enhance our cognitive function. In a 2023 study, researchers found that a diverse gut microbiota is associated with better memory and learning abilities. These tiny bacteria are mighty indeed, sending signals right up to our brain and influencing our health. How does your gut talk to your brain? Through neurotransmitters, nerves, and even fatty acids. It's like a two-way radio, constantly sending and receiving signals. But instead of words, it uses chemicals and electrical impulses. Let's start with neurotransmitters. These are chemical messengers that transmit signals across a synapse, from one neuron to another. The most prominent neurotransmitter that you might have heard of is serotonin, often dubbed the feel-good hormone. But here's a surprising fact, about 90% of our body's serotonin is produced in the gut. Yes, you heard it right, our gut is a serotonin factory. This hormone plays a crucial role in mood regulation, and an imbalance can lead to depression and anxiety. So your gut's health can directly impact your mental well-being. Now onto the vagus nerve, the superhighway of information between your gut and brain. It's the longest cranial nerve, running from the base of your brain all the way down to your abdomen. This nerve carries an array of signals about the state of your internal organs up to your brain. When your gut is upset, the vagus nerve lets your brain know, and you might feel nauseous or lose your appetite. Finally, we have short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs. These are produced when gut bacteria digest dietary fiber. They play a vital role in maintaining the health of our gut lining and have a profound impact on our immune system. Recent research indicates that SCFAs can also affect brain function and behavior. They can cross the blood-brain barrier, influencing brain health, mood, and cognitive function. 
This complex communication network keeps our body in balance and our brain functioning optimally. What we eat, how we live, and even our stress levels can influence this vital gut-brain dialogue. You see, our dietary choices play a significant role in shaping our gut microbiota. Consuming a diverse range of plant-based foods, for instance, can encourage a healthy mix of gut bacteria. And these tiny critters? They're instrumental in regulating our brain function. But it's not just about what's on our plate. Stress, too, can alter our gut bacteria, potentially disrupting that important back and forth with our brain. It's a fascinating, complex relationship that's still being explored by scientists. And let's not forget probiotics and prebiotics. These beneficial bacteria and fibers can help replenish and nourish our gut microbiota, promoting a healthy dialogue between our gut and our brain. By understanding these influences, we can take steps to nurture a healthy gut and a healthy brain. Today we've journeyed through the complex world of the gut-brain axis. We've unraveled this intricate communication network, highlighting the vital role of our gut microbiota. We hope you're leaving with a newfound appreciation for your gut and its chatty relationship with your brain. Don't forget to share your thoughts, subscribe, and stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, keep your gut happy and your brain happier.